My name is John Samaripa and I'm with the Georgetown Utilities and Construction. And this morning we were tasked with, with removing this line, uh, the transformer and the cross arms, which is usually it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty easy task with the use of buckets and hydraulics. But this morning we used, we used the opportunity to use it as a training session and remove everything manually, just in case we have to remove it out of a backyard from somewhere well, we don't have access to it with the buckets, right. so so we're we're we really we're practicing with this so we can get proficient at removing the facilities or changing them out right. in in storm type situations where we can't access it with the trucks. So normally you would do this with a bucket truck. You would, somebody would go up in a, in a bucket and you would bring down the, the transformer that way. Yes, sir. That's normally how we would do it. In in, in with the bucket truck and all this would this would have been a fairly simple operation. Right. But having to do it manually, as you can tell, it's taking a little bit more time. Right. And, so, I mean, are there situations when you have to do things this way? They come up. Usually the guys get very creative on how to get the trucks in the backyard so they don't have to do this, but, but they do run into situations where you just can't get a truck in there and so they have to do it manually. Right. And you're generally not out here on a, on a blue sky day like this as well, right? No, generally when we have to do this kind of work, it's it's rainy and wet and, and cold and, right. and miserable in the middle of the night. And we're all we're all cold up in our blankets and y'all are not. That's right. So <laughs> I know it's it's real easy to just take for granted, switch turning on the switch and everything comes on, but but behind the scenes, this kind of stuff happens a lot more than you think.